Oh my god, I know you played Pac-Man before. But have you ever played it on the 5200? I mean, it's kind of a weird system to play it on. Because it's an analog joystick, and you would think it's probably not a good idea. And it's not. It's not a good idea. But, if you have a good stick, it's not too bad. And I like the graphics. I like the way it looks and sounds. It's one of my favorite home versions of Pac-Man from back in the day. I've done videos on this before. I've talked about it before. I talk about it pretty regularly because, what the hell, it's 5200, I like the console, I do a channel where I talk about games that I like, so, you know, this is what I do. I talk about the same games that I like a lot. Um, so Pac-Man's a funny game. What is, what is a Pac-Man? I don't know. What is this thing that we are in this game? A giant yellow ball runs around eating everything, you know? It... I don't know. What is he eating? He eats pellets. And I'm like, what are these pellets? Is it like pellets for like a... Like a gerbil or something? Or is it like pellets, like drugs kind of pellets? And I guess I kind of think it's probably like drugs, right? Because back in them there days, back in the... You know, back when the Pac-Man was, uh, was coming out. Um, there's a lot of drugs going around. There's a lot of... You know, the legendary stories about, like, the offices at Atari and different places like that where people just, like, got hopped up on all kinds of things. Any kind of chemical that would have any kind of impact of any kind was uh, celebrated. And, uh, yeah, there were, you know, a good time was had by all. And the results of that is crazy games like Pac-Man, where you get a power pellet, which then scares the crap out of the ghosts who then you will eat. And I don't think these were originally supposed to be ghosts either, if I remember correctly. Um, but I guess they decided, I don't know, who knows, probably wrong. But um, regardless, what the hell? It's awesome, it's fun, but what the hell is Pac-Man? What are we doing? What is, you know, it's a strange situation. And Pac-Man has a girlfriend who has her own game and they have a kid it's funny because she got her game before they got i don't know if they ever got married i guess they did at some point maybe i'm putting too much thought into the storyline i don't know but she's called miss pac-man in her game and it's also on the 5200 and there's a pretty cool version of it um so yeah i definitely like it i like it a lot i like it a lot pac-man's a game that i enjoy and i enjoy this version like I enjoy most versions of Pac-Man, because it is on pretty much every console. But this one's more enjoyable than you might think, because like I said, the controls are what might make you think twice and be like, Oh, I don't know about all that. I don't know about no uh, analog on my Pac-Man. I like my digital controls for my Pac-Man. You know, Pac-Man makes me think about, uh, you know, all the pain that he inflicts on these ghosts. Like, he is constantly being chased by the ghosts they're out to get him and i think they're out to get him for revenge for the horror that he's constantly inflicting upon them i mean he's eating all of their pellets i assume that that's their pellets it seems like that's their house in the middle of the level right so pac-man's sort of invading their space and he's like eating all of their stuff he's eating their stash brah so i don't blame them for being pissed off and chasing him they're trying to Get him to leave them alone, basically. But Pac-Man don't want to hear all that. You know, Pac-Man is here to do some serious damage, you know? It's almost like this is a house of pain. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a house where painful things are inflicted upon the ghosts and painful things happen to you as you traverse their world. Uh, copyright. Yeah. Pack it up, pack it in, let me begin. I came to win, battle me, that's a sin. I won't have a slack up, punk, you better back up. Try and play the role and yell the whole crew, act up. 
Get up. Stand up. Come on, throw your hands up. If you got the feeling, jump up. Touch the ceiling. Mugs, let the funk flow. Someone's talking junk. Yo, I bust them in the eye and then I take a funk. So, feeling funkin', arms in the trunk. I got more rhymes than the cops at Dunkin' Donut Shop. Showing up, I got props. The kids in the hill, plus my mom's in my box. I came to get down. I came to get down. So get up your seat and jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Uh. Yeah. What's up? Uh. <laughs> 2023. Heckman. House of Pain. <laughs> See you guys later.